has a water system arm. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Two. One. Lift off. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. Houston now controlling, Atlantis on its way. Systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is 18 miles uh, an altitude, downrange 23 miles, already traveling 2,500 miles per hour, approaching staging the burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters, which have been burning fuel at a rate of about 11,000 pounds per second. Solid rocket boosters have done their job. Atlantis is uh, continuing in its due easterly course to catch up with the Hubble Space Telescope one last time. Altitude 12,000 feet. Copy, field in sight. Seven thousand feet. Four thousand feet. Two thousand feet. Commander Scott Altman beginning to uh, flare out the uh, vehicle, pitch the nose up as he approaches uh, runway two two from the northeast. Three hundred feet. Uh, landing gear down. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis is rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, completing 197 orbits of the Earth while traveling 5,276,000 miles. This landing marks the 53rd shuttle mission to end at Edwards Air Force Base. 
Atlanta spent seven days servicing the Hubble Space Telescope that included five spacewalks totaling a record 37 hours. Atlantis has completed its 30th mission and the 126th in the history of the space shuttle program. The Hubble Space Telescope's final servicing mission is complete, but its mission of discovery is just beginning. Welcome home, Atlantis. Congratulations on a very successful mission, giving Hubble a new set of eyes that will continue to expand our knowledge of the universe. Thank you, Houston. It was a thrill from start to finish. We've had a great ride. It took a whole team across the country to pull it off. Our hats are off to you all. Thank you so much.